Yeah, can we get a better script next time? Get more, uh, more Whipple people in there? Okay, yeah, no. If we could get more... If we could get more Whipple people, that would actually be sick. <laughs> Alright, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but uh, Deej is in the background just kind of hanging out with us, as he often does. And he is saying that this is the first time that Green Kirby has ever been inputted into his, uh, you know, his his scoreboard system. So yeah, first time for everything, I guess. Kuya, known player of many different characters, uh, Kirby is one of them. Um, Kirby is a character that exists in this game. Um, <laughs> It was uh, significantly nerfed from Smash 64, where Kirby was hilariously overpowered. Um, and they were like, yeah, if we put him in this game, which we will, because the guy who invented Kirby also invented this game, um, and everybody loves Kirby, let's be real, uh, we got to make him way less good. He's got five jumps that equate to, like, one jump from anybody else. <laughs> He's got a really good up tilt, um, not as good as it is in 64. Um, and he can do some really cheesy things when you're 10 years old playing at your friend's house floating up in the air and dropping down as a rock. Yeah. This is an $88 money <laughs> Okay, yeah. Eight for $88 right now. It's a lot of money. That is, yeah. Peace them out. I like when Kirby uh, does his dash attack and he's on fire. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. Yo, shout out, and there is like Kirby in the Magic Mirror, which is a Game Boy Advance game, you shall play it if you like Game Boy Advance games with Kirby, it's really good. Um, there's like a power-up you get, which is like literally, oh, yeah. that would've been so sick! Oh, the you edge! Got it. That oh was my sick, God. that was actually so raw. <laughs> edge guarded him with the up B projectile. Ooh, that was, yeah, that was a clip, honestly. Um, like, well, what I was saying is, Kirby gets a power-up where he is just literally has his kit for melee in in the game, and it's pretty cool. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that is cool. Yeah. All right, well, that happened. Yeah, it sure did. That occurred, and we all witnessed it. Let us speak of it no more. Now, are we going to see Kirby Game 2 as well, or are we just doing randoms? I bet we... Uh, I was okay. Say, I bet we don't see it, but Game & Watch... We're moving up the tier list, <laughs> if ever so slightly. A little bit, a little, little bit. bit. A inch by inch. I don't know if Game & Watch is higher than Link on every most people's tier list, but I think he is lower by average most people's like perception of the tier list. Kirby is lower than both of them, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Kirby is very bad. Bottom three is like Kirby, what, Kirby, Pichu, Bowser? I think so. I don't know where Mewtwo falls in that. I don't know where Roy falls. Oh, yeah, in Zelda. That. Zelda's not nearly as bad as those characters, I don't think. Oh. Game of Watch, known to be pretty bad as well, Like, but I feel like the tier list don't do him justice. Yeah, Perhaps I mean, maybe that's because I know Kuya. Yeah, <laughs> we're biased. <laughs> Yeah, I've seen this, uh, I've seen this little cartoon-looking motherfucker cook tonight. Yeah. He's flipping bacon, that's to be sure. Or pancakes, I don't know. I've talked to, I talked to the Game of Watch players and I asked them, I'm like, hey, is it bacon or is it pancakes? They all have a different answer. Some people say it's like other things that are not bacon or pancakes. I, I have my own thought. Yeah? I think it's sausage. Yeah, I've I heard sausage. Cook sausage. I've heard sausage, I've heard bacon, I've heard pancakes. Um, so. Now, is he cooking, who is he cooking for? Have we ever thought about that? I think he's like a line chef at a, uh, like a diner, right? So he's just cooking for any customer that walks in the door. Yeah, yeah, if you've got the cash, he's got the cook. He's like a mercenary, but for food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's, that's, uh, that's, what a, that's what a chef is. Yeah, that's what a chef does. Yeah, <laughs> a professional person who cooks things. <laughs> Whenever someone does a job in exchange for money, oh, this is like a mercenary, but for well, for this, you know, not to get too pedantic, but you know, merchant, mercenary, it's like the same word from Latin root. Like oh, some, really? Someone who does things for money. That's literally what mercenary means. So, yeah. Now we're seeing Mrs. Game and Watch. Oh. In that he he cooks for his wife. What if, what if Mr. Game and Watch also just has a Mr. Game and Watch at home though? That's true. Yeah. Oh, and uh, 
that's that game. Yeah, that was a game and watch right Impressive. there. Impressive. Yeah. That was Kuyu's on the board. He gamed and we watched. We sure did. <laughs> You can say anything on commentary, did you know that? <laughs> I've heard Tope say that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm standing on the shoulders of giants, Nate. <laughs> oh, bye. Well, there he goes. Cast into the abyss. Okay, he's, he's getting a little silly on Randall there. We love that. Okay. He's, he died. Okay. Okay. Alright, that's four up here in a row. They do that. Foxes do. <laughs> they do. They, they, they do like that. doing that, don't they? And we're back on Randy. Randy Randall. Are you feeling Randy, baby? <laughs> <laughs> I, has anyone done an Austin Powers impression of commentary yet? <laughs> Surely at some point. I don't know if it's that one. <laughs> <laughs> do I make you horny, baby? Do I make you Randy? <laughs> Yo, and Panda with the invisible shine. Oh my. You know, that's a credit card that Game & Watch U does for his Ford Air? It's a credit card? It's a credit card. He's it's not a, a credit, credit card. No, he's not. Yeah, it's a credit card. That's what it, it is. No, because it's the same size as his frying pan. Yeah, it is. I don't know why they... That was a weird art decision. <laughs> but they they did do that. No, I don't... The credit cards even exist when Mr. Game & Watch was invented. Did they have plastic back then? Yeah, it was on a plastic uh, handheld. No shot, that's like a book or something. They did have parachutes. I'm trying to pin down the exact time. Keys, they had keys. Those they have been sure around did. a long time. Turtles, they had turtles. They did have turtles back Alright, Panda taking that one with the quickness. That's going to date this game in the future. Like, later on when turtles are all extinct because of global warming. Oh, man. They're going to be like, oh, remember turtles? Back when turtles were around. I miss turtles. They're going to be like the Teenage Mutant Ninja. What are those things again? Can't remember. They were mutant, though. They were some weird critters. They, they were some weird animals with weaponry, weren't they? Maybe it's gonna be like dragons. People just, it'll be like, yeah, you know, myth, the mythical creature, the turtle. <laughs> yeah. I swear I saw it. A shelled beast in the deep. No, Grandpa, you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's seen one of those in hundreds of years. Hey, here's a here's a fun turtle fact for you. Hit me. Uh, many turtles, uh, specifically sea turtles, but many turtles can do this. They can perform gas exchange through their asshole. I'm sorry, gas exchange? Yeah, yeah, like you're in your lungs, you've got alveoli, which is an organ which allows you to breathe. Mm. Turtles have them in their asshole. What? They've, got, they've got lungs too, but they've also got like <laughs> they've got a part of their butt that lets them literally breathe through the water. They've got that's, like a butt gill. That's a funny prank that God played on them. Yeah, right? It's like, and yeah, I'm gonna put alright, what am I putting in this creature's asshole? Uh turtle, you get uh yeah, you get air exchange. Humans, uh you just poop. Yeah, you just poop. Oh, but I'll give half of them a G spot there too for, <laughs> for fun. <laughs> That'll be funny for them half to figure out. Have that, yeah. <laughs> we're being told, okay, we're getting some information that it's a box. Mr. Gamer Watch is fair as a box. Ah. And what's in the box? Yeah. Credit cards. Credit cards. Yeah. <laughs> Bunch of credit cards. Oh, you, you, oh you're crazy! My. Oh, oh my wow. god. This, that was quite the Kuya's off stage going exchange. Going absolutely insane right now. He's swiping. He's, he's cashing the checks. And he has, a, looks like a, a torch. Hey, where was, where I was Game it, Watch on January 6th? Oh though? no, dude, you, I knew as soon as you said that. <laughs> oh, oh my. there it is. Speaking of that. There he goes. Shoutouts to Brandon winning that one. <laughs> Shouts out to Dark Brandon, everyone. Brandon winning this one. That's no, the game. Panda's name is Brandon. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Literally Brandon. Let's, Let's go, go, Brandon. <laughs> Let's go, Brandon. <laughs> there you go. Another tournament in the books for Panda. Uh, the number one seed taking it home over the number two seed. Bill, truly an excellent TO. Mm -hmm. um, Deej as well. Deej. Deej too. That shout down. out. Bill does the seeding. Deej does the everything else. <laughs> Hello, hello. Brandon usually doesn't like doing an interview. I like to interview the winner of a Magic Conch, and I know Brandon doesn't usually like doing an interview. Um, so we're probably not going to get one today. Yeah. Um, I'm going to try to call Deej on here because I want him to talk about... Keep this was, this meant 
for all 30 of you in the chat who are watching right now, thank you so much. And this meant a lot to Deej for everybody who attended. Mm -hmm. So, Baylor, if you if you want to say your goodbyes and whatnot, and we yeah, can get, get the hell out of here. Yeah, we can get <laughs> on here. Get, get out of here. Peace, dude. GG's. All right. Goodbye, everyone. Have a lovely rest of your night. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Never mind. Deej is hopping on. Hello, everybody. What's up, Damn, still 31 viewers? Let's go. Yeah, we got a big turnout today in person and a big turnout today online. And let me tell you, that means so much to us here in West Florida. I've not felt more loved than this tournament in a very long time. Dude. To see so many old faces, people traveling. Keaton was here from Alabama. Yep. Uh, Ryan drove down from Jacksonville. We, were, we had Dante making his appearance today. Uh, yep. I, don't, I don't know how well he did in bracket. I don't think he was on stream. We've seen some old school Wiffle players come out of the woodwork. Kurt was here to support. Kurt was here. I cannot Kurt believe Kurt was here. I was not the only bald man today. Yep. I, I had a fellow bald brother. Yep. Always so, appreciate like Darling coming out too. Darling was Jamie here. Jamie came from like Port St. Lucie. Like there's so many people that traveled for this and I appreciate all of them. It's fucking awesome, man. So I geez. can't believe we had 60, oh, 70, but 66 with DQs. Yeah. This is fucking crazy, man. Almost double our last Magic Con. This meant a lot to you guys as like the main organizers who I know you guys have been putting a lot of time and effort into making this happen. Um, do you have anything you want to tell the people about like, is this or do we expect to have more tournaments this size or was this more like a this is our end of summer kind of thing and, and whatnot? Come to the next one. Yeah, oh, yeah I mean the there's, this is a monthly right, so it's going to be around. You know, there's I mean people obviously can come from like you know Tampa area, Naples area, but I mean we're going to do this shit more often. I think 66 is a fucking fantastic number. I mean, this goes to show like how many people are willing to come out here. So, I mean, yeah. let's make it happen again, right? Even go bigger and better next time. So, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Oh, well, yeah. I know I had a lot of fun this evening. I went on a bit yep. of a run myself. I'm very yes, happy. Yes, you did. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. We both crushed it today. Yeah. Hell yeah. So, uh, definitely, I implore you, all the fine folks at home, all the Wiffle supporters, and those of you maybe from out of state, um, please. We're getting, we're getting yeah. the spotlight put on yeah. us. <laughs> now you got the front and the back view. That's right. Uh, please consider supporting your locals, whether it's us here in West Florida and out in Sarasota. First Saturday of every month, by the way. That's right. Um, or if it's just your local wherever in central Idaho and you happen to tune into this stream, please right. go to your locals. Please support the, t the TOs. Support the scenes. The men and women who work so hard to make this game that the developer hates happen. And, um, yeah. Cool. Thanks for holding down top eight. You and Gumby, I'm sure, crushed it. I mean, I listened in for a little bit, too, but, I mean, yeah. you guys were at it for a while, so I appreciate you guys. I Everybody else that came and commentated, platform, you know, you know Alex, uh, yeah. you know, Jodo coming in, too. But, yeah, there's so many people that helped make this happen, so I'm trying to thanks, get more, everybody. Usually yeah. I hold down the fort. I'm trying to get more people on because I may be Florida's favorite, but I know I got a lot of people coming up to me like, hey, Nate. Get me on the commentary and whatnot. And I'm just like, I know there are a lot of great commentators in Florida. There I take are, the hog yeah. mic all the time. You know what I mean? Especially in Wiffle. So I got to have some of my boys out here uh, making jokes, uh, keeping your evening a lively, enjoyable affair beyond what the melee punches and the kicks and the button presses has for you. Um, so, yeah. Cool. Anything well, thanks again, everybody. Say? No, I mean, I guess that's it. Yeah, yeah. we got to start cleaning up. It's already running a little late, too. But uh, I think... I, I gotta start changing my, my screen here. Bracket at seven, I think, is the new play. I think, uh, obviously, we had 66, so it ran late anyway, but yeah. seven's awesome, man. Um, but yeah, thanks again to everybody um, for showing up, for tuning in to Twitch, to supporting, uh, for the pop bonus, for everything. Thanks, everybody. So, we'll see you again next month, guys. All right. And on that note, I've been Nate, Florida's favorite commentator. You've seen me around, and hopefully you see me here next month. I'll be here. Yeah, you'll and be here. And this guy will also be here. That's right. Deej. And uh, we're oh, yeah. signing out. Cool. Thanks, guys. See you.